I'm 6'2", dark skinned, black man. I'm not your stereotypical person that you see playing the yoga. I wanted to play saxophone at first, but my sister would say, hey, I know an instrument that you would like, you're kind of weird, but you like a challenge, the oboe, you should play the oboe. When I got to conservatory, that's when I really started to realize like that racial tension. There was always this question of quality and me being there. If we have black players, the quality has to be good. I said black and quality should never be mentioned in the same uh, sentence. Quality is quality and culture is culture. I always had to overprove myself to show that I could play. But then I started to realize the more I worked on my craft, the more that uniqueness about myself became the superpower rather than the weakness. I came to the Nashville Symphony as an intern over then because of the nature of that position, I had to audition for the permanent seat. And after I won the audition, then on, this person started to antagonize to the point that it escalated to actual subcoded physical threats. He racialized our relationship. All of a sudden, with your hair, you put a pick in your hair. I mean, what do black people think about Bill Cosby and who are you voting for? Black people. He also was like, can I rap for you? I want to rap some Biggie small lyrics. So it starts rapping in front of me using the N-word. This was going on constant, constant, constant. The orchestra then took the right initiative because they did anti-racism training. I've been having these conversations with the organization for the past two years about how to recognize these things. This person I worked up for 12 years. 12 years! Why isn't there a culture in which this is rooted out and not tolerated? But it had to get to a violent point for me to play a woodwind and oboe, <laughs> to play Beethoven and Brahms and Debussy. And I'm the first African-American, male or female, to be a principal oboe tenure in a major symphony orchestra. Lift every voice and sing. The song was written by uh, Rosamund Johnson, who set his brother's poem to music in 1899. Later on, it was voted on as the Black National Anthem by the NAACP. So it has very deep roots, and we just took that and put it into a classical format. This is all Black ensemble. These are just people at the top of the field who are rock stars, who mm -hmm. chose to say, you know what? It's time for us to say something. But I'm fighting not just myself, but for the team for there to be more representation there. And I always tell people, Black people have been in this country since 1619. It's time for us to change that demographic that's in orchestras.